According to the uh, Federal Reserve data, financial accounts for the United States, 87% of wealth invested in the United States uh, by Americans is in the U.S. Only uh, 2% of U.S. wealth is in the Cayman Islands. Only 1.5% of U.S. wealth is in U.K. Only 13% of U.S. wealth is actually overseas. A second statistic from the Federal uh, Exchange uh, comes uh, is that U.S. debt and equity markets, of global U.S. debt and equity markets, are about 38% of world uh, markets. Uh, this is more than the EU, and it's four times more than China. Given these comments, would you agree with me that the United States is by far the best place for investment? Yes, absolutely. Now, I know you can't comment on particular policies, and I respect that. Uh, but, you know, when I, uh, I had friends who, when uh, President Trump was uh, elected, said, if President Trump ever gets elected, we're going to leave the United States. Guess what? They're still in the United States. And you hear all of these people saying, if we ever have a wealth tax, we're going to take all our money outside the United States. My view is they're still going to have their money in the United States because it's the best place for investment. Now, without commenting on whether a wealth tax is a good idea or a bad idea, just as an economist, could you comment on uh, if there were a 1% or 2% wealth tax, do you really think that 87% number uh, would drop dramatically? You know, I, that's, uh, there's a kind of a bright line that we have to observe uh, with, with something like that. That's clearly something that's in the mix uh, uh, politically right now, and it just would be really uh, a disservice to my institution for me to weigh in on that. I'm sorry to say, Mr. Connor. I appreciate that. But you would agree that we have a lot of comparative advantages compared to other countries in terms of investment here. Strongly agree. That's my questions. Gentlemen, stop.